Okay, here's my finished Sofal SV06. Uh, this has uh, been fairly heavily modified, as you can pretty much see right from the get-go. I've replaced all the stepper motors with LDO stepper motors. Uh, slightly larger, uh, I think these are four, uh, 40, 42s, I believe. Um, the 4240s, whichever. Uh, they're a little more torque, uh, about the same power. Uh, they don't need as high a micro step as the stock motors, and they run up quite a bit cooler. And I replaced all the motors, uh, X, Y, and Z. Um, I've replaced all the bearings with, I guess, uh, dryland bearings. These are solid bearings that are self lubricating. You can see it down in there. Uh, because the stock ones were super rattly, um, they did not roll smoothly, even after they were packed with uh, EP2, uh, they couldn't roll smoothly. And I think I think the reason why is because they're short bearings, you know. And I took them out after running this, doing various upgrades and, and testing. Um, after about a month, the Z-axis ones were practically dry again, which you know I get I get gravity and all but they were so dry that you could sh shake them and they're rattling around so those are replaced um, which for the better it improved the print quality as you can see I'm running a, uh, a uh, stealth burner style hot end with a clockwork tube extruder it's on a mount that I created that I merged with the stock mounting plate it's running the stealth uh, hard case stealth burner PCB board which goes to that 14 pin harness, which is actually a harness from a Trident, a Voron Trident. I ran the uh, individual uh, LED and the probe wire, which I'm actually using the stock probe um, separately because I the LEDs did not work properly through the stealth burner board, and I believe that's because of the lack of grounds on the, uh, the main board um, because it uses a shared ground on the PCB and it just would not operate right wired as correctly as it should have and I did wire it all correctly um, but it just it just would not operate appropriately so I separated it instead of running it off that board and ran it directly to the, uh, the, the primary board um, it's running a Meanwell 350 watt power supply it's also running a uh, Manta uh, Big Tree Tech Manta M5P with a, uh, a CB1 MCU on top of that, which is like a Raspberry Pi CM4. Uh, it is using all five steppers, so the Z axis is using it using independent stepper drivers. Um, all the electronics are now mounted not on the gantry, not on the gantry, but underneath in this bay under here. I've added skirts and legs similar to what you'd see on a Voron Trident or V2 or switch wire really. They're just remixed uh, to fit this, uh, fit everything underneath it. Got a piano black upper deck panel and that will keep uh, things like, you know, used filament and stuff from falling below into the electronics. And the electronics bay, you might be able to see it shiny down there. It also has a, a lower panel as well. Um, since it is open mains uh, to the power supply. Um, I am right now printing out more, uh, some LED holders. These are just test ones. That's why they're not in any particular color. And, uh, and I'm going to see how well those work with um, putting a bar on the front. I really wouldn't want to put a bar on. I wanted to mount underneath this, uh, this, this beam. But I'm afraid that when it goes to do uh, the X gantry leveling, when it gets to the top, I'm afraid that the wiring might hit it if I put it underneath there. This, this all the way up to here does clear it, and this just about clears it. So I'm not really too sure. Uh, I may change my mind and go ahead and put it up underneath. I do have mounts for it. Um, but for the moment, I'm just putting out a couple temporary... Um, temporary brackets and I'm just going to attach a, uh, a mount that I, I already had printed out. Uh, they're not in the right colors, this is gray and that mounts like silver, but for the moment just for test fitting and making sure that it does what it's supposed to do, uh, I'm going to go from there. Print wise, it's uh, printing well. 
Uh, it's got a Revo hot end in it, so it's not the high. It's not a high flow. It's only about I think 15 millimeters per square, I think. Um, so right now, even this plant's only going about three. And accelerations are up to 150, which is what I have it set limited to. Sometimes it'll you see it peak up to 450 on some movements, but the average is about 150. And uh, prints well. As you can see, it's not uh, nothing crazy. I just happen to like the setup. I like being able to see the prints with the added LEDs. And uh, yeah, not going to really get it much quieter because it is using sensorless homing. So unfortunately, you're not using stealth chop, so it's going to have a little noise. And uh, they elected to hollow out most of these um, parts. As you can see here, there's lots of cutouts in them. And they're injection molded plastic, probably ABS. And unfortunately, they do resonate a little bit with additional speed. So the faster you go, they might get a little bit louder. Um, but these are miles quieter than it was with the stock uh, bearings in it, uh, which had such an annoying noise to it. Um, and I haven't even started even pushing the limits on this thing yet. It can print faster than this. So, but for the moment, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. If you have any questions or comments uh, leave it in the description below um, most of my stuff here is, uh, that I make as far as the printable parts are on printables including um, including a modded I did a modded version of the stock hot end and put a 5015 fan on it and stuff and uh, that stuff's also up there so uh, under the same name as my uh, my YouTube channel name so all right talk to you guys later bye